Mari Travis had a decent start to life. He had supportive parents. When he was a teenager, he would get enjoyment out of torturing and killing insects. In July of 2000, he killed someone for the first time. He brought the girls to his house where he would start recording. Then he had sex with them and killed them. When he was done with his victims, he disposed of their bodies on roadways. It wasn't too long before the police concluded that they were dealing with a serial killer. They dubbed him the Street Walker Strangler. In May of 2002, a reporter of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch newspaper wrote an article about one of Travis's victims. Less than a week later, Travis sent an anonymous letter Attached to the letter was a printed map with an X drawn on it. When the police followed the location on the map, they found the remains of an unidentified woman. The map came from Expedia.com. On June 7th, 2002, a detective of the St. Louis Police Department went to Travis's home when they ventured into the basement. They found bloodstains on the walls, ceiling, along with clothing from his victims. He was brought to the St. Louis County Jail. On June 10th, Travis was found hanging. He did leave behind a suicide note. 